In this video, we're covering three more mistakes that beginner photographers may make. We have Megan's sister, we have Megan's sister, we have Rachel's sister, Megan, here with us. Let's get started. Artlist, our music licensing service of choice, is like a perfectly curated record store. When we first found Artlist, it was pretty new, and so was this channel. So at the time, we thought it was a bit of a gamble investing $200 for a year of licensed music, but it has hands down been one of the best decisions we've made. Their library is chock full of independent music that is made for YouTubers and filmmakers. It never takes us long to find music that is a perfect fit for our videos, which is one of the ways it stands above its competitors. One of our favorite parts about Artlist is you can download an unlimited amount of songs with a membership, which is great for us because we've downloaded over 100 songs this past year, which would have cost us over $5,000 on the service we used to use. As we hope you know, we only choose sponsors whose products and services we use and love, which is why we're stoked to be able to give you an extra two months free when you sign up with the link below. Find the perfect track for your videos with Artlist. On photo sharing platforms like Instagram, you have mere seconds to capture the attention of an audience before they scroll to the next photo. The reason why trends leave as quickly as they emerge is because humans get bored quickly. With this in mind, our first tip is crucial. Stop using the same poses you've seen a million times already. You can differentiate yourself easily and quickly by avoiding unoriginal and or overused poses. Here, Megan and I demonstrate a few poses that you've undoubtedly seen before. Since most people have seen some version of these photos before, they'll probably be more likely to scroll right past them. If you want your work to stand out, try capturing more unique and real moments that pique interest. Composition is often difficult for beginners to master at first. There are five main offenders. One, most beginners know the rule of thirds and know that you can break that rule by center composing. However, something that we've noticed is that beginners often compose their subjects slightly off center. This almost never feels right and should usually be avoided. Another composition mistake that we often see beginner photographers make is cropping subjects at the joints. A good rule of thumb to follow is if the body part can bend, don't crop the photo at that point. It gives the illusion that your subject's limbs don't extend beyond the frame of the photo. Another mistake is placing your subject right against a backdrop. Sometimes it works well for a photo, but oftentimes it helps to bring your subject several feet out in front of your backdrop. This gives your photo more depth and helps your subject pop out from the background a lot more. Another thing that catches our eye immediately is crooked photos. Now it's fine if you intentionally want your photo to be taken at an angle, but if you want your horizon to be straight, make sure it's straight. You can easily fix this in post if you miss it in camera. Finally, try to keep your subject's head clear of distracting background elements. A good rule of thumb is if it looks like an object is coming out of your subject's head, it's probably a no-go. A common mistake beginners make is botching the skin tone of their subjects and overusing the clarity slider. If you have human subjects in your photos, keeping their skin tone accurate to real life should be a priority. And lay out the clarity slider. It's not 2006. Trends can be fun, but by their nature, they likely won't stand the test of time. Remember when overly done HDR portraits were popular? Woof. Same goes for fairy lights, glass balls, crushed blacks, orange and teal editing, etc. You do you, but it's good to keep that in mind while shooting and editing. Thanks for watching. We hope these tips help you become more intentional with your photography. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next week.